welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, so you had a little preview of what I was doing on the airplane, but basically what I decided to do was do a scientific experiment because I've done one before on can you travel with pens, with fountain pens on airplanes. And the general consensus is that yes, you can as long as they are backfills. But I then I read some stuff where they were like, no, you you really can actually travel with them as long as you put them upright. So I decided to do something scientific, which was just try one out. And I took a pilot petite, and by the way, I'm just holding my camera because I don't have my tripod here. Uh, so I'm just gonna hang it onto it here. Um, but I grabbed this pilot petite that was given to me by Tori at Pen Club. Thank you, Tori. And I decided to take this all the way full, and I just uh, kind of came back from the airport into my hotel, and I don't know if you saw me take that out, but I had the pen upright, so that's what a lot of people recommended. You keep the pen upright. Well, this is for science. I still don't want it exploding in my bag, which has actually happened before, um, and I had a pen leak everywhere um, so I just wanted to make sure it was in a Ziploc bag just to be safe and this one is not eye droppered so it actually I don't know if you can see there we go oh, you can't tell all right so one-handed let's try this in fact that would be kind of good to see what all happened in here so there is a cartridge in there that I uh, used a syringe to fill with Tasha Abbey fountain pen ink which that's not what I'm doing today, but um, as you can tell, a little bit of ink kind of went up in this chamber here, and then some of the ink you can see, maybe you can see, there you go, um, has shown up on the feed, which I don't really mind because that means it's pretty much primed and ready to go. So I'm just going to set this down, take a look at the cap. I don't see anything on there and on the inside no it's totally clean so guess what my little experiment worked you can actually travel with fountain pens as long as uh, they are completely full so you want to make sure that the cartridge is full and the or the converter the reason for that is because when that air pressure builds it kind of pushes everything up if it's full, there's really not much air pressure that needs to be building. So that's kind of the key uh, for that. The other thing I want to caution you on is do not try this with a vintage pen. They just have a different system. Sometimes there might be micro fissures or cracks or things like that. Plus, we don't know what kind of condition the rubber sack is in. And so I'm just going to recommend do that with modern pens. If you're scared like me, uh, try it with something inexpensive. Not that it's going to explode and never write again. That's not the reason why. I just wanted to make sure that if I was making a mess, that it wasn't like with an expensive pen that where I, you know, end up having the ink on like celluloid material or something that can never come out. So just make sure it's something that you're okay with. And then again, Put it inside a Ziploc bag. I'm not going to be able to put this back in there one-handed. But uh, what I did was I sealed it and just kind of put it uh, straight up in my purse or whatever bag you're traveling with. And it's arrived here successfully ready for my meeting tomorrow. So any um, comments if you've traveled with ink pens, let me know what you think. But, you know, it kind of makes sense because people have traveled with ink fountain ink, pen inks and pens all the time. I don't see why that would be a concern. Also, I mean, I was kind of thinking about my water bottle. It's completely full. There's not anything leaking. As long as things are full, you don't have that gap that creates pressure. I think you're good. So 
While I say I think you're good, try it at your own risk. Make sure you've got something that's not ruining a bag or a purse or God forbid your, your travel clothes or whatever else you got going on. So put it in a Ziploc bag, make sure that it's nice and sealed and tight. Oh, and in terms of uh, TSA, uh, these only hold like an ounce or something. I think you're allowed like three ounces total. Nobody said anything about it. So, you know, that's another thing to consider as well. So until the next video, um, would, would you please give me a thumbs up if you like this? Would you just follow, like, and subscribe? And I would love to hear your comments. Just makes me feel like somebody out there is watching. So thanks so much and join me next time. Bye.